Hey guys, Luke at UltraConsumer.com here, bringing you a new video today. This video is a little bit different than usual for a few reasons. First of all, it's not really a product review. It's sort of a footnote, I guess, or a product warning of sorts. And the other thing is I am not going to do any cuts or edits on this video. I want it to be 100% unedited so you can kind of believe what you see. I didn't do any editing to try and make something look better than something else. So what I wanted to talk about today was a little bit more detail on the spinner review that I did, mm, I think a month ago, two months ago, where I reviewed the NSD power spinner and I mentioned in my review the competing company, which sorry, the competing company, which is uh, Dynaflex, also known as DFX or DFX Sports. And the reason I wanted to do this was because since I wrote that review, even more reasons have come up why I would absolutely recommend everybody stay away from this Dynaflex or DFX company. It's an absolutely terrible and shady company. And let me explain why, and I'll give you some examples as well. Um, the first thing is after I posted my original NSD review to the NSD Facebook page just so they could kind of enjoy it and see that uh, I enjoyed their product. There was actually a representative from the uh, DFX company that came to their Facebook page and started refuting my review and calling it biased and uh, talking about the uh, benefits of magnetic bracelets and basically uh, being pretty nasty about what I said in my review, which is funny because number one, I didn't actually say anything negative about their product in my review. And number two, what I said in my review was that their company seemed shady and their warranty service seemed questionable. And the funny thing is they never refuted either of those. They never uh, explained why their behavior wasn't actually shady and they never actually explained why their warranty service was actually good, even though I've had um, direct experience with um, NSD's warranty service, so I know for a fact that it's good. Um, so another thing that they talked about, or another thing that was talked about on the Facebook post was um, fake Amazon reviews. So one of the things that Dynaflex has been engaging in is posting positive reviews on their own products on Amazon. If you want an example of this, you can do a search for, I think it's called the uh, Dynaflex uh, or Iron V Power. It's their metal uh, line, the Dynaflex metal line. And if you look at the reviews for that product, it has like, I don't know, 10 or 20 uh, positive reviews, uh, five-star reviews. And if you look at those five-star reviews and you look at those reviewers' history, what you'll notice is that those most, like nine out of 10 of those reviews are from people that only have reviewed Dynaflex products, some of them multiple products, um, which if you know about Amazon, you know is a pretty good sign of um, fake reviewing. So they're boosting up their own product reviews. And then the funny part is what I learned today so they're actually um, posting negative reviews for their competing NSD uh, spinner products. So they go to the different NSD um, products on Amazon and post these fake negative reviews, bringing up all these points. And what's funny about the points that they bring up is they're the exact negatives that I would have said about the Dynaflex products. Um, so the latest thing is that Dynaflex or that NSD had posted a video comparing the vibrations between the um, Dynaflex and the NSD products and since I own both products I thought I would do my own uh, review. There's two things I want to tell you guys before I do this uh, comparison rather. The first one is that nobody asked me to do this it's just that I happen to have both products and I have experience with the vibration level of both products so I think I'm fairly qualified. And the other thing is um, they're not exactly the same product. This one obviously has a counter on top. The other thing is my Dynaflex is significantly older than my NSD power spinner. I've had my Dynaflex uh, for over 10 years. But what I want to point out is even though I've had this for over 10 years, I never really got into using it very much. It mostly just sat like in my closet um, because I didn't find it particularly enjoyable before and when I finally pulled it back out to use it, um, it wasn't working very well for some reason. Um, so that's why I actually bought the NSD spinner in the first place. Um, and since I've got this uh, three or four or five months ago, I probably actually put more time onto this spinner than I did in 10 years on the Dynaflex spinner. So even though it's a very old spinner, um, it's not like it's worn down and beat up. Okay, so I wanted to caveat this before I do that and let you guys know that's the that's the uh, background on these. So what I want to do is I want to show you the 
practical vibration differences when I use these. So first I'm going to spin up the NSD spinner to kind of a high RPM. I'm going to try a couple different grips on it and so forth and let you guys hear um, the noises it makes. So you can hear it spinning up and even though you hear kind of a friction noise, you don't hear any clanking really or it sounds pretty smooth for the most part and it feels pretty smooth. And I'll let it spin up a little bit. So I'll spin it up to a high speed and then I'll hold my grip firm and let it spin down in my arm. Okay, so no crazy noises or anything like that. It feels nice and smooth still. And when it gets to a lower um, revolution, it will start making more noise. But now if I let it spin down with a light grip, I'm trying to grip it as loosely as I can here, you can hear it's pretty smooth. Eventually it will start clunking as the RPMs get low. Well, sometimes it does. But pretty smooth all the way down. Now if I do the same thing with the Dynaflex, usually, first of all, usually this one's a little bit harder for me to start. I think it's probably because of the balance issue. But right away you can hear it's so much noisier. It's actually starting okay right now. I switch to my right hand. You can hear the noise difference right away, right? So there's this clunk. And one thing about this is it's a little bit faster than the NSD. I think this is a lighter weight spinner, so it's easier to get the higher RPMs. But I'm holding it in my hand tightly, letting it spin down. Now I'm going to do the same thing where I spin it up and let it spin down with as loose as possible. Let's try that one more time so you guys can see. You can hear all that rattling. Right? So, bottom line is my NSD spinner doesn't do that. It's completely apparent that the balance on the NSD spinner is way better and the uh, vibration level is way lower. So, um, any review that you see claiming the NSD spinner has crazy vibrations or is harder to start is completely fabricated, probably by a Dynaflex employee. Um, again, at all costs, guys, if you're going to ever consider purchasing a spinner, avoid Dynaflex and uh, go with the NSD brands. This is just a much better product. And uh, to be honest with you, DFX is just so, so shady and to be honest, really rude as well. So avoid them at all costs. Feel free to leave any questions or comments uh, below. I look forward to potentially getting questions or comments from Dynaflex trying to explain to me why their fake reviews are okay and how they can justify the fact that their product sounds like crap. <laughs> so um, bring it on guys. Thanks everybody for watching.